Today we'll show you the basic functions for how to set your ref pad for the first time and show you how easy it is to use by creating a patch from scratch. Before using the system for the first time, you should charge the touchpad for about 12 hours by connecting it to any standard USB charger with the provided USB cable or by connecting it directly to the base unit. Now we're ready to start. Connect the antenna to the base unit. Connect your guitar to the input of the base unit and your amp to the output of the base unit. Connect the power supply to power it up. Use the USB cable to connect the touchpad to the base unit. The USB LED indicator on the touchpad will turn green to show proper connection. Turn on the touchpad while it's still connected to the base unit. The pad connected message will appear on the screen of the base unit. The battery LED indicator on the touchpad will be orange. Now you can disconnect the USB cable from the touchpad. The battery LED indicator will turn green. Remove the back covers from the stickers and place the touchpad on the guitar. We recommend placing the touchpad right underneath your picking hand for easy reach while you're playing. Let's take a quick look at the controls of the bass unit. Near the top right corner, you'll find the main edit buttons. The arrows are for navigating through the different parameters. The encoder wheel is for changing the parameters and scrolling through the patches. And the home button will take you back to the main window without saving any changes. Below the screen, you'll find three buttons. The save button is for saving any changes within a patch. The system button is for entering the system menu and for saving any changes within the system. And the XY button is for assigning the parameters of the effects to the touchpad. Let's create a patch. Using the encoder wheel, select an empty patch. Press the down arrow to enter the first effects block. Using the wheel, scroll through the different effects. Let's choose distortion. Press the down arrow to enter the distortion's parameters. Mix is how much you hear the distortion in the mix when you don't touch the pad. And T-Mix, which is actually Touch Mix, is how much you hear the distortion in the mix when you do touch the pad. Using the wheel, set the mix to 0% and leave the Touch Mix at 100%. Now gently, touch the pad rhythmically to hear the effect of these simple settings. Activate the freeze function by pressing the first button on the touchpad. The freeze function will ignore the mix parameter, so you will hear only the touch mix parameter. Next, go to the touch mix parameter and press the XY button to assign the green X axis direction to the touchpad. You can add all the other parameters. But for now, let's just add the gain control to the touchpad using the same axis direction. Now slide your finger across the X axis of the touchpad. You can stop at different points on the touchpad. Or even jump between them. Let's go to the next effects block by using the arrows and add a delay by using the wheel. Enter the delay parameters and set the mix to 0%. Assign the green Y axis to the touch mix parameter. Now we have in one patch a dry clean sound a delayed clean sound, a dry distortion sound, 
a delay distortion sound or anything in between all accessible with a swipe of a finger it's that easy make sure you subscribe to our channel for more information go to gdcsound.com